At first glance, this is a flag. Go closer and it's a sculpture made from optical lenses. Look through the glass and portraits of famous Americans are revealed. But don't stop there. Wear Google Glass and become part of the art itself. It knows where I'm standing in front of the piece. It uses wireless to know where I'm located. And Det Ansin helped create the technology that enables the flag to display different images depending on where a person looks. Ansin used this smartphone to demonstrate what a user sees. That could be video, it could be an archive footage, it could be a news clipping. There's also interactive activities. Meanwhile, cameras embedded in the piece record videos of both the flags and the user's point of view and then post them online. The piece asks for opinions on hot-button issues. Genetically modified food, I think it should be legal. Authors. Probably F. Scott Fitzgerald. And favorite world leaders. John F. Kennedy. Technology is a way to improve engagement so people understand, and I think it helps with the appreciation, but also helps give you a, a more fulfilled experience. If you're looking from this side, you know, actually it's too much lighting over there. The piece was conceived by David Detuna, who emigrated from the former Soviet Republic of Georgia. His father was arrested for listening to Elvis Presley, and his fascination with the U.S. stemmed from that childhood experience. Google Glass, it's like a bridge between people and the concept of the piece. They bring the people inside in the piece to start to make people thinking about why I put this picture in a collage behind the lenses. But aside from concepts and technology, Detuna's viewpoint of billions is just really cool. And that's what institutions such as the National Portrait Gallery are banking on. Museums are, by their nature, traditional. We capture the old and put it on display. We're the stewards of tradition. But 21st century audiences don't really get attracted by the old and static tradition. So how do we bring people into the building and get them to think about the culture they live in today? <laughs> Immigration reform, all the way. Some might say it's a bit gimmicky, but in the 21st century, can art and technology really be separated? Jane O'Brien, BBC News, Washington.